What's up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great 2019. Welcome back to another episode of... What the fuck? Where did all these nutcrackers come from? What's up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great 2019. I know I am. How about you, Drew? No. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's safe to say that everyone knows by now we are both celibate. Yes. Both big virgins. Big virgins. Very celibate. Despite both being married. Yeah. Despite both having wives, we're virgins for lives. Virgins for lives? Despite the wives. Despite the fact that everybody on the internet knowing that we're both virgins, that doesn't stop people from imagining a world in which we're, we're not. We're not virgins. I've been sent this fanfic a few times, and I think Drew has as well. Yeah, a couple times. It's called House of Gold, and it appears to be a fan fiction about uh, Drew and I. Which is crazy. <laughs> I would never do the things that are written in this. No, absolutely not. Drew disgusts me. He's an awful looking guy, and he's even worse on the inside. I look awful on the inside. Yeah, very he's all gross. bloody and there's slimy. There's like muscle mass. It's very gross to look at. Is there though? What'd you say? Okay, so there's this fan fiction called House of Gold. It's It actually has 2.5 thousand reads, which is pretty surprising. A yeah. fan fiction about us has Couple thousand views. Apparently this is about Danny moving in with his best friend and secret crush, Drew Gooden, that's me, after his GF died in Afghanistan, <laughs> going to war, and then one night Drew gets drunk, and then, find out. <laughs> also, when it says after his GF died, I'm not sure if that means mine or yours. Also, uh -huh. we're both married. And there are nine parts to this. I'm curious to see how much of this is taken from reality, like, because uh, right off the bat it's wrong that we have girlfriends. And, and even me. more wrong that one of our significant others was in war in Afghanistan. Danny looked at the apartment where his best friend and crush of three years waited. He saw him in the window and waved at him as his heart started beating so fast. No, hey. too fast. What? Beating too fast. Oh, why did I read that as so fast? Because okay. they spelled it wrong. <laughs> also, I like beating too fast. Like, it sounds like a medical emergency. Oh, it's, it's true. Hey. Oh. Uh, fuck. The story just ends right there. <laughs> yeah. He collapses to the ground yeah. and dies. Hey, silly, get in! He said, and and Hen gulped and pulled his <laughs> luggage into the house. Is Hen another character? Yeah, there's like a Hen in the corner, just one quick <laughs> shot. Oops. So Hen gulped and pulled your luggage into my house. Mm. Oh, Hen is like the butler of the house. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so this is based on reality. <laughs> oh, I forgot you have a, a, a Hen a butler. butler. Yeah. yeah, Drew hugged him. Should we reenact this as we go? Uh, yeah, if there's any yeah, so Drew hugged him. Oh, you just like stand there trying to figure out why your heart's beating so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so lonely since Amanda went missing in <laughs> Afghanistan. When she went missing? <laughs> she thought she died. I guess we she went missing and we assumed she died. What did she go rogue? I just like to imagine that Amanda, who would never, she would <laughs> never go to war in the first place, but then while there, she like has her own side mission she feels she needs to accomplish <laughs> while she's there. That's so brace of her. She loved you. Drew stared at him <laughs> for a minute. All right. No, I'm still having a heart attack. <laughs> it hasn't been a minute yet. <laughs> Let's get you settled in. And then he helped him into his room. It's a one bedroom place, so you'll have to share a room with me. He smiled at him. It'll be like a sleepover. Totally. Then there was a knock at the door and Danny followed Drew to the door where they found a girl with long brown hair and big purple eyes waving. Her eyes were waving? <laughs> And they're purple. Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? Hi, said Drew. Hi, she said, flipping her hair back, revealing her <laughs> badass studded belt. Wait, her <laughs> hair was in the way of her belt? I'm picturing when she flips it back like this. If it's covering it's your belt, so she long. Her badass studded belt around her black jeans and black top her, that had sleeves to her middle arm. <laughs> Wait, what? To her middle arm. Her third of three <laughs> arms. So basically, purple eyes 
everything else is black. She's kind of goth. I'm your neighbor Jackie, she said happily. I feel, okay, there's no consistency with her character already. Like, she's dressed oh, yeah. to the brim of being very goth, and she's just like, I'm your neighbor. <laughs> Wait, uh, and I already live here. It's not saying I move in. You're coming to live with me. And she's coming to <laughs> introduce herself. And then we both shake her hand, <laughs> I'm assuming at the same time. So she's standing there like this. And then the interaction ends. If you need anything, come on over, she said, and then left. <laughs> she was nice. Wait, so this interaction is, hi, I'm your neighbor, Jackie. If you need anything, let me know. She was nice. And pretty cute. And Danny <laughs> felt a pain in his heart. As his <laughs> heart attack continues. <laughs> yeah. Was Drew totally straight? He always wondered if he was bi because of how he flirted with him sometimes on Skype. <laughs> we've interacted, we've hung out, but we never flirt in real life mm -hmm. in this universe. There's never like oh. sexual tension when we hug or no, whatever. It's only, it's on only <laughs> through Skype. He didn't know if he would tell him he's gay and is in love with him. Then Drew gave him a sweet smile and he felt warm again. So this is the second wow. part now. We're on to the second part. This part's called Heavy. All right, Drew made a drink for him, and Danny sat at the couch. <laughs> Not on it, uh, at the couch. <laughs> like, I'm sitting cross-legged <laughs> on the floor in front of the couch. Yeah. It's like, take that, couch. They turned on a movie and watched some <laughs> funny TV shows. We turned on a movie, ignore it, then watched some <laughs> funny TV shows, and drank all nights until it was 7 a.m. in the morning. Drew pointed at the rising sun. Hey, Dan, look. Dan stumbled over and then tripped and fell right into my arm. Whoa. Oh, suddenly, sorry. Suddenly they were starting in each other's eyes. Their faces started itching closer <laughs> and closer when suddenly there was a knock at the door. Oh! Drew blushed and let go of the embrace and went to the door. Hello? He asked as he opened the door. Then there were two guys in black ski masks and they grabbed Drew and threw him down the apartment stairs and they ran off. They kidnapped him! Fuck! Danny tried to run after the van but couldn't run as fast as the car obviously it's a car yeah although that would be a cool different part of this story yeah. if i was like an you olympic just... sprinter <laughs> and i caught up to the car just grabbed onto the back bumper and stopped it he called the cops and cried in the apartment then suddenly he got a message on youtube that said if you want to see him alive again make a video about 10 reasons why the paul brothers are awesome and you're wrong he gasped <gasps> Wait, prediction. Is this person more of a fan of the Paul Brothers and this is a fan fiction wherein we just admit that the Paul Brothers are better than us? <laughs> this isn't a fan fiction where we fall in love. It's a fan fiction where like you get it kidnapped and murdered and I have to make a video <laughs> apologizing or to the Paul Or you'll get Bro murdered too. Yeah. Okay, so this is the next part. It just skips ahead in time. There was a knock at the door. Danny went over to it and gasped. <gasps> Logan Paul! Meanwhile, somewhere in Coastal Rica, <laughs> Drew had a bag on his head and he was punched hard. <laughs> Let me go! I never got to tell Danny I love him! Well, in that case... Then he was shoved into a van and they started driving. What? <laughs> Are they gonna take me back yeah. so I can tell you I love you? They kidnapped you and took you to a different country. <laughs> punched you once and you said, but wait, I want to go back and tell him I love him. Okay. Okay. Fine. Danny made tea for Logan and him and Logan looked at him sweetly. Looked at who sweetly? Me and Logan looked both at looked Logan. at me <laughs> sweetly. Okay. Mm. Mm. I'm so sorry. The Team 10 will help you find him. I almost kissed him before he... Da, 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 da. It's okay. They looked sweet at each other. You look sweet. You look sweet. <laughs> I'm always here for you. Logan leaned in and kissed Danny lightly on the lips. And in a moment of desire and desperate... He pulled Logan close and kissed him harder. They started making out <laughs> and Logan got on Danny and started rubbing on him. They made out and wiggled around the couch until Danny broke away. They made out and wiggled around the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I picture those as two separate activities. Like they made out yeah, and then they and got on the couch and just, just sort of like wiggled around. I can't. Drew. Oh, but he was a loser. That's a question. <laughs> but he was a loser? Go Logan, go, go away. Go Logan, go, go away. Go Logan, go away. And he grunted and left mad. Danny went to his room to cry. All right, part four. The door slowly opened and Drew limped into the apartment and fell on the floor. Danny, he said hoarsely. That's not horse like, ugh. That's horse like <laughs> horse. So I say it as a horse would say it. Danny. <laughs> Drew, you're a horse! <laughs> yeah, and then you ran to pick him up and help him stand. Drew grabbed him and hugged him tight and sudden, his lips started touching his and they kissed. And they made out right there. Right there? Right there! In the apartment? <laughs> Gross! When they stopped, they smiled at each other. Be my boyfriend? Yes. What is that interaction? That's like, none of the dialogue in this is like natural. Be my boyfriend? Yes. But I have to tell you, Drew, before you came back, Logan was here. And... 
and and we made out. Logan Pale? <laughs> he roared. You roar, you have to roar it. Logan <laughs> Pale? Logan Pale! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Drew started crying and ran down the stairs. Then Jackie looked Drew's way that he was running and then came in. Danny was crying and told her what was going on. So Jackie was just like just, standing outside. Just waiting. After the last interaction ended, she went outside and waited. <laughs> yeah, she was like, let me know if you need anything. Um, and she's just outside the door. <laughs> you should do something romantic to show your story and that he is your one and only. You're right. He yes. wiped the tears off and Jackie grabbed a camera and started recording. Why? Danny looked solely into the camera with love in his eyes. Hi Gregs, today I finally told Drew I love him like I said I would. Did I tell my YouTube <laughs> audience that I was gonna tell Drew I love him? I guess so. <laughs> hey, uh, I know there's like 1.8 million of you, but please nobody tell Weird Drew. flex, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Drew I love him in my next video. Please no one spoil the surprise. What did you say? But before that, someone else came over and I kissed them. I love you, Drew and it will never happen again. You are my light and joy, and I would be proud to be, be your husband. Then Jackie whipped a tear, <laughs> whipped a tear, <laughs> whipped a tear from her face and sniffled and turned off the camera. This part's called The Story So, so far. far. Is this just like a recap of everything we read? Warning, suicide and sex scene. They gave it away! <laughs> what the fuck is gonna happen? Suicide and sex scene? Meanwhile, in Chicago, <laughs> Drew was at, at a sushi, sushi restaurant. restaurant. When someone sat beside him, Drew Gooden, he <laughs> said, he looked up. Jake Paul? He almost flinched. How do you almost flinch? You only thought about it. I thought about flinching. Okay, so there's nothing it physical, it's just exactly. like. Exactly. Meanwhile, in my head, don't flinch, don't <laughs> flinch. Yeah, I heard you and Danny had a rough thing happen. Then he posted this. And he pulled out his phone and went to a video and opened it to let him watch. Danny was looking at the camera intense and started talking. Today, I finally told Drew it will never happen again. Never kiss him again. I am with someone else. And then there was a sniffled sound and someone was behind the camera? Danny started to cry silently, but tried to look together. I think someone- Someone edited it. Yeah, yeah out of order. To make it look <laughs> and, like I'm and, saying and... something totally natural. Today, <laughs> I finally told Drew it will never happen again. Never kiss him again. I am with someone else. And I'm just like, <gasps> This is so natural. This is how he talks yeah. in real life. He uploaded a three second long <laughs> YouTube video. As he does. Let me buy you a drink. And Jake ordered sake. An Asian drink. They started drinking and talking and, and laughing and, and having, having a good, good time. time. Maybe I was wrong about you, Jake. Jake put his arm around him, confronting, con confrontingly. 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 Of course, baby. They both drunkenly left the bar and stumbled to the hotel room Jake was staying in. Jake started kissing him and pushing him to the bed and they made out there. Then they started doing it. But this Drew didn't know about the camera. It was being live. <laughs> What the fuck, Jake? That's Jake's illegal. A freak. Damn. Damn. I like how the, whoever wrote this has such a way with words. Like, yeah. they really know how to write romance. They stumbled back to the hotel and started doing it. <laughs> I love you, Jake, cried Drew on the stream. Danny and Jackie watched, shocked and dumbfounded as they watched. Jackie looked at Danny, then black at the video. <laughs> First, I look at you, then I look black at the video. <laughs> huh, how could he? Danny. <laughs> Denny stromed around the house. Jackie tried to call him down. Denny! Denny! But Danny opened the window and jumped! Jackie screamed and called. <laughs> Zero one one. Oh. Did they write this in like 30 seconds? Just. <laughs> and it's a bit. No time to proofread, yeah. no time to edit. Wait, do you know what 011 is? No. Alright, I'm calling 011. Be Hello! My friend has just jumped <laughs> off the balcony! Well, it looks like it's it's the next part now. Drew woke up with a hangover and threw up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> then he heard his phone ring and he picked it up. It was Jackie yelling I to the phone. I, 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 I! And calling him shit for what he did to Danny. What? Said Drew. He said he found someone else? What? No, he didn't. I'm sending you the video he made for you. Then she hung up and he got the notification for it. He opened it and his lover spoke words of love right from the heart. <laughs> he spun around and glared at Jake. <laughs> you liar, he screamed. Then he threw his phone at Jake <laughs> and ran out. Meanwhile, in the suicide hospital. Danny was sitting in a chair watching a TV show when a nurse said, you have a guest. He expected Jackie again with some McDonald's or something, but instead, Drew. He flinched. Okay, so. <laughs> At least I flinched this time instead of gasping again. Or thinking about flinching like I did. <laughs> what do you want, traitor? He hissed at him. <laughs> 
Jake lied to me. He made me think you moved on. And I slept with him. Are we even? Can we be together? If you can forgive me. I do. Forgive me? Yes. Then, then they, they embraced, embraced and, and kissed. kissed. Mm. Danny pulled away and knelt down and pulled a box out. <gasps> Thanks. I was going to do this somewhere better, but will you marry me? Uh, Drew cried <laughs> happy tears and nodded. <laughs> And, and they made me out again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you out of here, said Drew. <laughs> all my bones are still broken. I'm gonna rescue you from the hospital. He, like, grabbed me and all my bones, like... Uh, uh, Danny got out of bed where his fiance was sleeping, and he went eye to the bathroom. Then he spotted something in the sink that he guessed Drew forgot. He picked it out of the sink and looked. It had two lines and was... A, a pregnancy, pregnancy test. test? He busted out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> D Drew, he said, and Drew sleepily got up and then gawked at what was in his hand. Wait, gawked, dude. Uh, I... What is this? Are you... Wait, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> he looked down ashamed. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow to check. Please, go with me. What is this, like, the next day? We had sex <laughs> for the first time last night. Now I'm pregnant. I woke up in the middle of the night to take a pregnancy test, like, an hour after we had sex. And it <laughs> you already, already had the pregnancy test. I already had the results, and I've already scheduled a doctor's appointment. <laughs> I'm ashamed, but didn't bother to hide the pregnancy test. You I put it in, in, in the sink, not even the garbage can, in the... Oh, no! Oh, I'm conking out. <laughs> they waited in the office of the doctor office. The doctor's so important that his office has, <laughs> has his own office. Another office. They went in, and the doctor came into the checkup room they were in. Are you his husband? Said the doctor. Danny nodded. Well, Mr. Gooden, you are pregnant. And Mr. Gonzalez, isn't the father what? How can they tell? Wait, okay, so it's been two days. Most like pr a pregnancy test can't even tell for like two weeks, right? And then you can't even do a paternity test yeah. until the kid is born. They both <laughs> drop, drop their, their jaws. jaws. To be continue. I love that it says to be continue in the middle of the story. Imagine if you were reading a book and every chapter ended to be continue. Every like, page ended yeah, to, be to be continue. White wedding part one. It was a hot July day and the concert hall was decked in white everywhere. Drew and Danny invited their fans for free to see their wedding. Normally you charge money to go to a wedding. Yeah. $10 a pop, come on. <laughs> but since you're our fans, we'll let you come for free. But so many wanted to come that they had to get a concert hall. There was a preacher and a pretty white arch and music playing and food Ooh, outside. outside. In the room with Drew, he was putting on his white suit and brushing his hair. He got a knock at the door and someone popped in. It was Ethan and Ela Klein. The door didn't open. The <laughs> popping is like them teleporting into the room. H3, H3 he oh, said, yeah. and they went over to hug him. I'm so excited for you, said, said Hula. Hula. Thanks, Ethan, will you walk me down the aisle? Of course, buddy. And he out out his arm. <laughs> and then he looked it. And they walked slowly out. <laughs> they stood at the start of the red carpet that went to the arch, and Drew laughed, nervous. <laughs> and Ethan pat his arm. <laughs> Story. Did a baby write this story? <laughs> not only did they not know like what words are or when to use what words, but I feel like they've never seen humans interact. <laughs> and they started walking as the wedding song started playing. The fans went crazy and clapped, and they stopped at the preacher and stood by him and waited. They looked at the entrance and waited for Danny. First, Jackie came out to be the bridesmaid. And Jenna Marbles did too. Oh, Jenna's here. Oh, that's so nice of Jenna to Thanks come. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Then PewDiePie came out with Danny on his arm. <gasps> they both smiled and Danny blushed, wearing his baby blue tux. Drew started crying because he loved him so much. <laughs> Thank you for explaining. Yeah, thanks for finally explaining why I would be crying at my own <laughs> wedding. Danny stood across him and they looked at each other with misty eyes. The pressed <laughs> smiled at them both and started talking. Drew Gooden. Do you take Danny Gonzalez to be your husband, to hold and love forever as long as you both live? Drew nodded. Yes, I do. And Danny Gonzalez, do you take Drew Gooden to be your husband, to love and cherish as long as you live? Why did you get a different question? Gonna I love have to hold you forever. And I have to cherish you forever. <laughs> I do, said Danny. Uh -oh. If anyone thinks these two should not be married, speak now. And the room got <clears throat> quiet and nobody breathed. <gasps> Then someone stood up from the crowd and jumped on stage. It was Logan! Logan Paul? Danny said. Yes! I don't think they should get married. He's carrying my baby! He shouted and the whole room 
gasped. Oh, wait, wait yeah. Hold the, on, hold on. I thought I was pregnant. I'm pregnant with Jake's baby. Are you also pregnant with Logan's baby? Did yes. I also have sex with Logan? I guess he must be talking to me, but I don't know why he would know that I'm pregnant. Drew started crying and wished he was somewhere <laughs> I else. I wish I was somewhere else! Then Ethan started going into Logan and push him away from the stage. <laughs> he, he, he takes control of his body and starts pushing himself away. And Logan's like, get out of me! What's going on? Ethan, I didn't know you could do that! Then suddenly fights start breaking out with all the fans and Drew and Danny ran away and the others escorted them. They all got to the limo and drove off fast. To be, be continued. continued. Danny, Drew, come out here! Ethan and Hila and Jenna and Jackie and PewDiePie were outside the cabin they were staying in until everything blew over. Danny looked out the window and gasped. Of course. <laughs> of course, you're gasping. <gasps> I'm useless. That's that, like that's my response anytime anything surprising happens. <laughs> Just crippling <gasps> shock. Outside was a big Talizzi, a big Tesla, a Telus, Telus with roses and lots of food on a table and music started playing. There was balloons and everyone was wearing dressed up. No way. Who's saying no way? <laughs> or is the author saying no way? <laughs> the author is so surprised by what she's about to write. Everyone was wearing dressed up and no way! <laughs> they went outside! She's like amazed at her own ideas. Yeah. What is this? They both asked, blushing. <laughs> they felt bad about what happened, so we made you a nice private wedding with just us, said Jackie with a big smile. <laughs> they all hugged, and Ethan said, I can marry you. I do Jewish weddings, but it can still count for you. Then Danny put out his hand, and Drew took it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? Shall we? He nodded and took his hand. Again. <laughs> Other hand. He led him to the roses, blah, 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 and Ethan stood in between them. So oh, imagine okay. Ethan Klein right there. Right here. Now, Drew Gooden, do you take Danny Gonzalez to be your husband? Will you love and cherish him in sickness and health? I do, he said softly. And Danny Gonzalez, do you take Drew Gooden to be your lovely husband <laughs> through poor and riches for as long as you both live? Yes, I do, said Drew back. Wait, wait, what? So I said it both times. <laughs> yeah, he said, I said I do twice. <laughs> you said I do for mine. Now, Drew, do you take Danny to be your husband? I do. And Danny, do you take Drew? I do. <laughs> First, Drew. Yes, babe? I want you to know I want to adopt the baby. Drew had happy tears in his eyes. And Ethan said, I now pronouns you, man and husband. And then they <laughs> fell into a kiss. <laughs> Whoa! Our faces like smack like that and we're both like leaning against each other like. <laughs> and that's the end. So I don't know, what did you think of the story? Bad. I kind of liked it, I thought it was kind of sweet. You liked the story about us falling in love, cheating on each other, getting pregnant, and then marrying each other? In a way I feel like it kind of just works. No, I, I don't think so at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guy, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you check out Drew's channel. It'll be linked in the description. It better be. Also, there is a link in the description for a survey that we want you all to fill out. It's titled Danny and Drew 2019 Tour survey. survey. There's no particular reason that it's called that. It's just sort of a random name. And please don't ask why we need you to fill out the survey. Yeah, the words don't really mean anything. But uh, if you guys could fill that out for us, uh, but only do it once. And if that's something you wanted to see in a universe where we do hypothetically go on tour or whatever sometime this summer, then maybe fill that out and let us know where you want us to go. And then we'll go there. We will. Uh, we promise. Every well, we single can't, place we can't promise. that you put in the in the survey. That's definitely not true. We will go. We are actually legally obligated by the terms That's, of the survey please to don't go say that. Don't every do that. single People place. are going to get their hopes up when they tell us to go to the moon. All right. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to join Greg. We're the fastest growing army on the internet. Don't look that up. Please, please, for the love of God, don't look that up. It could end my career. And it will end. Thank you to Anna for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time where Drew kicks me in the knees so hard that he breaks them. Bye.